heard that saying. Big baits, big fish. Bobby Rod. All right, everybody. So today, like we promised, Levi and I are going out to fish the kitty poles. So we got a Barbie pole and we got a princess pole. Um, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do to get them functioning <laughs> to my standards. Um, so right now I got eight pound test on here. It's monofilament, stretchy, really easy to break. Um, we've got some Daiwa Grand, that's a J braid. It's an eight carrier, 20 pound. So that should get us right where we need to be. So I'm gonna show you what we gotta do to it. We've got the monofilament off the reel. That's garbage. We left a backer on the reel so I could tie my leader knot on there. So that is the RP knot. Um, I didn't do a tutorial here we're planning on doing a couple other videos down the road with some uh, quick little knots that we use a lot. So that will be in the future, but uh, we are ready to spool with our J-Braid. Well, here we are. Beautiful day out. As promised, we've got the Barbie poles. So what are we setting up, Colton? Well, we're gonna try one of the easiest ways to catch fish, and that is a Texas rig Senko. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just a uh, three out EWG on there. We might play with some leader, 10 pound Seaguar, um, maybe 12 pound at the most. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna try to put a fish in the boat with these things. It's gonna be difficult. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. But yeah, yeah. let's do it. Okay, so we're just Texas rigging Senko EWG Yamamoto Senko on this one. Doesn't matter which way you go through. I go to about that top, pop it through, and as you slide the Senko up, it's gonna kind of arch there, right? So then that's when you spin it and push it up past that eye. So now it's buried, okay? And now this part. Where the, see where that hook lines up? I'm gonna take my fingers, pinch there, and we're gonna go right through there. So I'll have to get as straight as possible. Yeah! <laughs> that was a cast. Thank you, sir. First fish of the day on the Stanky with the Barbie. Let's go. <laughs> One more and I got a Wendy's Nuggets. <laughs> not in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Get a little gun shy there. <laughs> yup. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. I'm gonna go for the boat flip. Alright. 
That was sick. So, Barbie won, Princess won. <laughs> yeah. So we just put our Barbie poles away. We're gonna get out the real rods. And what are you gonna be throwing, Colton? I'm probably gonna stick to three things. A Senko, a Chatterbait, and a Swim Jig. And that's that's gonna be my go-to. Okay. So, how about you? I think I'm gonna stick with the Senko. It's kind of a confidence bait at this point. And I'm gonna throw a Chatter a little bit, see if I get any takers on that one. But we'll see what happens. Cool. Well, let's go. There's one. Oh, come on. On the old Sanko. Yep, got that. Legends. Courtesy of uh, this guy for Christmas, but we just broke the dry spell there. Got a donk. Another one for the Senko. Another one, same Senko. Another one. Well, we came and we did what we had to do. Oh yeah. So, we got our fish, you know, on the Barbie pole, on the princess pole. It worked. It worked. So, I mean, doesn't get better than that. But, uh, no, that about wraps up the uh, Barbie pole challenge. Um, <laughs> it was fun. I didn't think it would happen today. No, it was hard to pin them because there's no drag on these things. <laughs> yeah. So we had to kind of make it up as we went. Yep. But I mean, this challenge was fun and I think it'd be fun to figure out another challenge for the future. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll brainstorm those. If you guys got any ideas, 
put them in the comments, whatever you want to see. So, yeah, what else you got? I think that's about it. Tips and tricks, what were you fishing? We were throwing, I was throwing the black blue Senko with the blue on the end. Let's see if I can get this. Well, <laughs> you can see it there. It's pretty tucked away. Throwing the 16th ounce with the bobber stop. Basically just tossing it up next to the pads and letting it sit and just very slowly, you know, every probably anywhere from five to 15 seconds, just checking it, slow pulling it, reeling up the slack. And these fish were a little more aggressive this morning. They were kind of running with it when yeah. they hit it, so. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I caught mine the same way. I just threw on the uh, old mag draft just for fun. But uh, no, the rod handled it all. <laughs> <laughs> the all purpose rod, I mean, I can't say enough great things about it. We came out, we caught fish, yep. and you know, we threw all sorts of wacky things on there and it handled it, yep. so. And kudos to the children that use this and catch their <laughs> PBs because I'll tell you what, it's not easy. It's not easy. <laughs> Going from a mega bass rod to a Barbie rod, it uh, it's very difficult. <laughs> yeah. So, hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, we'll see you for next time. In.